Okay, so Ubisoft put out the official guide to the North American League finals and bundled in this is, of course, the uh, relegation game as well. And I covered a lot of this when I went over the schedule that they put out a few days ago, but there's been an update to some of the times and they've also announced the talent. So let's just go, go through this really quickly. Today is, of course, December 2nd, but they released this yesterday, but I just didn't have a chance to cover it yet. So let's go through it now, right? So uh, read below for everything you need to know about the upcoming North American League finals. And once again, if, yeah, I mean, a lot of you probably already know everything you need to know. Maybe you already went through this and maybe I... Uh, Maybe you watched the video that I put out previously. You probably know most of what you need to know. But again, uh, we have Space Station, Oxygen, Sonics, and Dark Zero playing in the finals. And then the re relegation match is between Exet and Parabellum. So let's look at the new updated schedule. So they did not change the first day. They didn't change Saturday. So it's still 6.30 p.m. Eastern time approximately for the first game. And then approximately 9.30 for the second game. And they did change the Sunday game. So starting at 4 p.m., and previously, I think it was at 6.30, so now it's at 4 p.m. Eastern, which would be 1 o'clock Pacific, so it starts much earlier, which is good, uh, and the main reason that this was done, I guess, was because of the community outcry, but this relegation match could have gone really, really late if, uh, if it's a long game, so it's good that they put it earlier. So now, I mean, if it does start around 7, maybe it starts a little bit earlier, a little bit later, we'll have to see. But if it does start around 7 and, I mean, just like say each map takes an hour, I mean, the latest it would go is to midnight. And of course, there are still circumstances that could make it go later. It could be really long maps, there could be delays, this and that. But okay, it should be realistic for most people in the continental United States to be able to watch this without much problem. Of course, staying up till midnight on Sunday maybe is unrealistic for some people that have to get up very early on Monday. But, you know, if uh, you can live off not as much sleep or you don't need to get up terribly early or whatever it should be fine so okay pre-shows start on six o'clock eastern on the first day and 3 30 eastern the second day and okay i think that's pretty much all of the updates as far as time so let's just scroll down and see the other information that they presented so they just uh, talked about what the matches are they go over drops here which i mean maybe you care about it i don't actually care about it but uh you know there's stuff for kaid iq blitz and alibi you know everyone's favorite operators across the board uh you can get one pack every four hours watch with a maximum cap of three packs per week. And per week, of course, this event is only over the course of two days, so it's all within one week. Uh, but there are other finals if you watch the, uh, you know, the LATAM finals, the EU finals, etc. You can get drops for uh, watching other events and stuff, so keep that in mind. And then I suppose you have to watch on Twitch, right? You can't get drops if you watch on YouTube. And uh, we'll look at the streams, the stream links in just a second. Details on how to redeem them. I mean, you can look at this if you, if you care to. It's, uh, I mean, if you have redeemed drops before i imagine it's uh, pretty well the same and okay uh it says somewhere in there it reminds you about duplicates which i mean uh, you know very cool Ubisoft. i'm glad we still have duplicates but again it doesn't really matter too much to me not really much of a fashionista myself okay all twitch channels featured below will have twitch drops enabled so once again not youtube and they will be streaming in english on uh, two twitch channels and then a youtube channel and then there will be a portuguese stream as well which is cool uh, R6 Esports BR2, and then I assume these are just going to be the exact same stream uh, on just on Rainbow Six and Rainbow Six Esports NA. And then English, uh, it doesn't give the full link here, but this is just the, the Rainbow Six Esports YouTube page. Uh, if you want to click on it or whatever, it'll take you to it or just, you know, search up the map. But so I don't I don't know why they didn't actually, you know, type out the full link here, but this this hyperlink will take you to the, the correct place. And okay, prize pools. So if you're curious about this stuff at all, what the teams are playing for, the main prize is money because they're not playing for qualification or anything else tangible besides money here. So first place, $75,000, second place, $45,000, and then third and fourth place, $15,000 each. Uh, keep in mind, these are quite large numbers, but uh, you do have to split them at least five ways given that, there are, given that there are five players per team. And then I don't know if maybe their analyst or their coach or whatever gets a cut. So uh, even first place, the most you're going to get is $15,000, and that's still even before tax. So a good chunk of change, of course, but, uh, you know, maybe not as crazy as it might look at first glance. Relegation match does not have a monetary prize pool. And then talent, the other important thing in this whole thing. So we are delighted to conclude this 2021 season with our North American League talent lineup. Okay, so uh, Veli back in the hosting position. Then we have Jesse and Jacob as the analysts. And then commentators, Intero, Blue, Stokes, and special guest, Pengu. So... The uh, Intero, Intero Pengu duo from Sweden returns, so that'll be cool. Pengu, if, if you're unaware, has been in the United States for some amount of time, and I don't know if that's a temporary situation as a semi-permanent situation or a permanent situation, but he is around and he will be casting with Intero. 
and then blue and social will be there as well i don't know how the matches will be divided up i mean there's four matches so i assume it's gonna be like two and two but uh, we'll have to see how they do it exactly and yeah it should be cool uh maybe it says it says it somewhere i'm pretty sure but the, all of the talent is going to be together they're going to be on land uh so that's cool but once again you know no audience and so the teams will be on land and the the talent will be on land so hopefully the you know the show that we get to watch through twitch and youtube is good although you know disappointing to not have an, an in-person audience but uh, i guess this is as good as it gets otherwise and then sanitary protocol if, uh, i mean if you're interested in reading any of this doesn't really apply to you just applies to the the players and staff and whatnot but uh yeah that's pretty much it and then i guess they have what indochino is their sponsor and they just have a little little deal you can get down here or, or whatever so yeah that's pretty much it and once again i don't think i need to belabor anything else here i covered pretty much everything before and hopefully there's no more changes and I don't have to make an additional video about this. Uh, if you want to see my predictions, that was in the previous video as well. And okay, so I think that's all you need to know. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. And so with all of that being said, I will catch you in the next video.